Hello and welcome to the War Report, hosted by Quan and Cyrus. This is a show where we talk about NXT and AEW. Um... <laughs> What's up, man? That was so fucking suck, yeah. Like... <laughs> I have such low energy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... It, it is that like it, it killed your know. vibe, bro? Yeah, it was his ass. Um, <laughs> maybe. May- Maybe I shouldn't have uh, smoked to endure, but uh, okay. nah, man, wait, wait shit, over here. That shit was uh, shit was ass. Oh, there it is. I was looking for this. Um, well, I don't know, man. Uh, I I was having a good time playing Assassin's Creed Barrage instead, but you know, nah, shit, um, man. yeah, I mean. I mean, I guess we'll get to it later as far as kind of how we thought about the episode. But yeah, it wasn't very eventful. Um, I can say that much. Um, I can tell you on Saturday, I did end up going to Collision at Mohegan Sun. Um, I bought the tickets like last minute, like a couple of hours before the show. I was like, oh, you know what? I was I was hoping they would drop the ticket price a little further down, but they didn't. So I ended up paying 40 for it. I was trying to go like. I waited for like the twenty dollar tickets to pop up or something, but they never did. So, but the show itself, it was just okay. I, the main event, though, I thought was fantastic between uh, MJF and and um, Kenny Omega, mm-hmm. and I can I can honestly speak on it now. Now that I've seen Jay White live, I don't think Jay White is a top guy. Like, I don't, <laughs> like you know, you know how like. Some people just have like a different aura about him. Like when you see it live, like okay, he he that dude. Yeah. Like when when Kenny came out, you 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 felt that on Saturday night. But like when when it was Jay White when he was on the opener, I was like, oh, this guy, he just feels like another guy. Like he don't ain't nothing really moving me. I think he's his in ring work is fine. I think is he's good, but just like oh, he don't have that. I guess what the kids are saying now that aura. He don't he don't really have that. At least not to me. It didn't feel like it. But um, besides that, it was it was a cool time. The, uh, yo, when Tony Khan came out at the beginning of the show, I swear on everything on my on love. First of all, he got a crazy standing ovation. I was really surprised at the response he got. <laughs> but the dude next to me, because I went solos, so I was just sitting by some people I didn't know. Um, dude next to me literally stood on his chair on top of it and gave that man a standing ovation. I said, "Oh boy, I'm in for a long night." Oh, you but, you, um, you 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 was in there with the real writers. <laughs> You were the, they were real real fans. Um, it was it was, it was his family actually. It was they were cool, but um, <laughs> him that was cool. Stand up on the chair like that it was crazy. I was like, you gotta relax, bro. You can't do that for Tony Khan. But um, yeah, that was kind of that was my weekend. That was my Saturday. That was that was me going outside for the first time, and Lord knows how long. That's not you know the gym or Target. Um, I think I, uh, that's a very interesting way to spend your holi- uh, hol- <laughs> Halloween weekend. You know. Watching uh some fools they ask themselves. Oh, uh, speaking speaking of Halloween, this is the first Halloween where like my kid, I didn't like go with her trick or treating. She like went to a friend's house and they like did this, this whole like group thing with all these girls. No, or whatever. I was, I was, I was like, about I was to say like, you 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 ain't make sure there's no razors in her candy, bro. <laughs> nice. You know I cannot, what? I cannot believe that's uh some shit. That's not. I I was thinking when they were talking um. When uh, Mills and Justin were talking about that on a uh, a show, it I don't know it might be a um kind of an East Coast type thing like a like a up north type thing I don't know because like but then Justin knew about it too and he's not from up north yeah. so I don't I don't know maybe it might be the age difference like you didn't you didn't hear that kind of stuff growing up like the the crazy uh, blazer candy because I definitely mm-hmm. remember hearing stuff like that when I was a kid like oh I watch out for mm-hmm. Razor Blades and candies no. I, I would say like uh my candy wasn't checked. That was that was a thing. Um my earliest like trick-or-treating memory is like going to my mom's job and they had like a whole like Halloween like festival going on in the parking lot. So yeah. like that was my trick-or-treating. And then like the year that I was trick-or-treating, I think uh like you know, mid-year or like the second earliest memory, I was probably like 13, 14. Mm. So I was trick or treating with like actual family and stuff like that in Miami yeah. Shores, um, and yeah, no, that was never really an issue. And hearing about the razor blade and the candy thing, I remember on Tumblr, 
there was oh, a Lord. post saying that <laughs> or or you know uh saying that you know the people were putting like edibles in children's candy and yeah, I, I, hold on, <laughs> I feel like that is a parody of the razor blade and the candy thing because as an adult edibles are kind of expensive and way right. like to be given that shit to like you know yeah, busy. and also like what is it you're spending <laughs> I spent thirty dollars and I got like two squares of some shit. Right? Well, you spending crazy money just to get some kids high. Yeah, to, to go fuck some kids up, like that's crazy. <laughs> and you don't um, even get to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know <laughs> what's, what? What's the win? What's the win in that? Like, just ca- just chaotic evil. Just just <laughs> wants to do some stupid shit just to do it. But yeah, uh, nah, there was never really a concern like that. I also didn't trick or treat a lot, and uh, I didn't either growing up. Yeah, meals talked about getting egged, and I thought that was funny. But oh. the but the shit in my neighborhood at the time was this fall, like fall. I think like till like went around. Uh, no, nah, I probably say it's like October to like Thanksgiving. This that time period was known as paintball season. Oh no! Oh lord! Yes. That was paintball season. Nigga driving by with the uh with the niggas paintball would, gun. Niggas would drive by with the paintball gun. <laughs> I I'd be up. heated. I'd rather get shot real in the real way than get hit with a paintball. Low key. No, you fucking would not. <laughs> I'd rather hit with a bullet. To hit with, I hear a paintball man walking down the street. Yeah, um, mad as some girls watching. You see me get shot, shot, hit up with a. Get, come on, man! I can't get, look like that. Put, put a blue splat on your back, bro. <laughs> on your school the, polo. The the fresh white tee on. Come on, man. Yeah. Um That's nasty. Yeah, paintball season was always a thing. It was more like, you know, it's like a rumor. It's just like, oh, paintball season, you don't really really be caught out like, you know, past six o'clock or some shit, you know? Um yeah. and it was a thing that was done amongst peers. Like this is not something that adults knew about. So mm. I thought this was a weird cautionary thing telling niggas, hey, make sure you home at six o'clock. You feel me? <laughs> niggas policing their own curfews is funny as hell to me. <laughs> did, did, y'all, did y'all have the uh, the knockout game out there? Were niggas really doing that out there? You ever heard of that? It was not the knockout game, but we had something very similar, and I have a hilarious story about it. I just moved back to Miami from because uh, I lived in Jacksonville for like a few years. I just came back to Miami and I went to this ghetto ass middle school. <laughs> there wasn't the knockout game, but there was the choke out game. Jesus. <laughs> no. How how long can you survive before getting knocked, you know, before getting choked out? I was leaving my science class. I walked downstairs. Nigga said, let's go. Let's do this. You know, let, oh, let no. me go. Nigga chokes him out. He's go- He's gone in seven seconds. Nigga, <laughs> the nigga that chokes him out, freaks the fuck out, just lets him go. Bro head, boom, dunk oh, right onto the no. concrete. Nigga, Booked it across the uh to the hallway. Damn, just bro. left them hanging too. That's crazy. just left them crazy, bro. I said, "Wow, that's nuts!" And I went right to class, bro. I like, I ain't see shit. <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. You know, and what's crazy we, is that there was mad witnesses, <laughs> and nobody said a thing, huh? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that situation uh, panned out, uh, because you know it was like some upper classmen, but I was just like, I don't know that nigga, and I don't know the nigga that choked though. I'm going to class. <laughs> Yo, my high school had a a fight club that was run by a teacher. That shit was fu- that shit was crazy. A fight club ran by a teacher is hilarious. But uh, it was like a substitute teacher. <laughs> we uh <laughs> we we had proper duels as well. You feel me? Niggas just uh you know niggas wanted to shoot the ones. You know it was like it, it was like general roughhousing with kids and shit. So it wasn't yeah. no flight club like. Not really like no fight club type shit. It was just like, you know, run me my ones and, you know, just nah, general roughhousing. This was a full on fight club. <laughs> they, they, they be after school just, shit. just scrapping. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Hall- Halloween's a crazy time. Uh, or like, you know, uh, adolescent Halloween times was a crazy point of year. Um, I ain't never seen nobody get hit with a paintball gun. But I knew people with the paintball gun. Uh 
it was crazy. You know, I, I was never, I was never out past six. That was, that was nothing I needed to do. Uh, I needed to get home, play video games before my aunt got home. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I, I was never caught in that shit. But yeah, n- niggas, niggas definitely got hit with a paintball gun for sure. Uh, but yeah, nah. Um, yeah, Halloween was cool. I wish I took more pictures of my costume. Uh, I only got the one. Uh, and it was like a bathroom selfie. I was drunk as shit. I uh, forgot what you had on. I saw I saw your story. I don't remember what you had on. But... Uh, I was a chef from the bear, but I didn't take any photos to like you know be you know to like show or like to show like to really show the costume. It, it was just uh, I just had like a uh, you know the white tee and the um, the navy blue apron. And honestly, that apron is about to come in real fucking handy because I've been painting a lot for class. So. Uh, Painting what? What are you painting? I do art. We are, we my are assignment. Painting? Yeah, I'm doing my fucking assignment. What you mean? What am I painting? <laughs> the fuck? I'm getting to work, nigga. That's what the fuck I'm doing. Um, yeah, I mean. But all right, man. Let, let's get into these trenches. Let me put my glasses back on. Let's see what this Chris Statlandy talking about. What is she talking about? Um, what, what's everybody talking about? I feel like there was a, a lot of just talk online kind of well, direction. First things first, because it's probably the only thing that's really been going on, uh, you know, with the shit besides, uh, I think like Brian Daniels's injury um, is that commercial. Yeah. With the, um, with the Doja Cat thing. I like the commercial. I think it's really fucking good. I thought it was a very interesting commercial. It showcased a lot of people, you know, that are on TV regularly. I thought that was very nice. And I thought it was well shot as well, you know, and I'm I'm not a really big uh, fan of the Paint the Town Red song or whatever, but I thought it was nice to get somebody recent and modern to, like, really do some shit. Um, But like everybody else, I said, hey, man, that was a cool commercial. Hopefully y'all put some effort into the actual fucking show. And apparently that was the wrong thing to say. You're not you're, you're not supposed to say put your money where your fucking mouth is. You're just supposed to let it rock. Yeah, there was a lot of conversation um, as far as. Hey, the women. Yeah, they don't get a lot, but we should be happy we're getting that and we shouldn't question it. Um, I saw I wish I had the person's account. I saw a Twitter account kind of talking about like Willow Nightingale having a match tonight for the championship, even though she just lost the number one contenders match on uh-huh. Friday. Um, and, then, and then they and they just remembered that she won the Owen, uh, the Owen Hart shit, which just bad booking. Yeah. Just and then I, I was just looking at the quote tweets and I was just like, people were just like, who cares? Or like or like stuff is just like. Let's just be well, glad. Just, we're well, yeah, here. like let's just be glad to have it's going to be a good match. I'm like, yeah, it's cool. I'm sure they they had a good match, but like, you you know, I, I'll tell you what, the crowd could have gave a damn, bro. It was dead silent for that match. Well, well, well shouldn't be like that if we're your women's world champion. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk about it now or just a little bit, but like you know, we have the match. Crowd don't give a shit. There's so there there was so much uh post match shit. Willow became a fucking afterthought after that. After the first yeah. one. So I was just like, you know, what what was this really for? And then, you know, um, yeah. Uh, th- th- this will go into the Chris Atlander quote, but like um, everybody's like content with a lot of the shit AEW does when it's really like even less than the bare fucking minimum. Um, and like, I, um, and, I, and, and I feel this way a lot about like a lot of shit. It's just like, you know, if you don't like have a, well, I don't want to say necessarily have like a gripe or like complain, but like if you don't have like any legitimate criticisms about what's going on and you're just cool with everything, the product's not going to improve. Like ever. So it's just like, what are we doing with fucking AEW? Yeah. Um, the saying is closed mouths don't get fed. And clearly um, Chris Statlander at this point <laughs> she had to. She had to speak up. Um, I'm gonna read it. This was um, speak. I, I don't know. If this is a podcast or a website called Ring the Bell. Um, oh, I do oh, wish. Yes. I do wish that we could get more time because I do feel like if we're given time with the right people, we're going to put on a show that no one's ever gonna forget. That's just life, though. We're just always gonna keep fighting an uphill battle, no matter what we do. Not just in wrestling, 
but in all of life because that's just what happens when you're a woman sometimes. Um, and cool. uh, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, no, wait, hold on. There was another quote that she said. She said that, that was too? Just, yeah, the the, the, the uh, uh, it's the one that really irked me. Um, let me scroll and find it. But say say your piece on the current quote. Sorry. Yeah, just kind of like. When you got your world champion kind of speaking, well, not your your uh, TBS champion, I should say, speaking on um, such a way, which she, she almost, I mean, I, I I didn't hear the quote, so I don't know the context of it, but it almost sounded like she just defeated, like, yo, this is all we're going to get. No, it, she, she straight up said it. We're going to keep fighting uphill battle no matter what we do. I mean, like, it shouldn't be an uphill battle, especially for the world, for one of the champions. On the yeah. show, just, it's, I mean, it sounds like she's like begging me, please just give us something to do other than the one segment a night. Like you got five hours of TV, okay. And uh, I will, and I will give them credit with the um whatever this Julia Hart Sky Blue Willow shit is. I guess that's another storyline, mm-hmm. but I don't know, man. It, it it does feel very just like secondary, the whole division, not just like that other mm-hmm. storyline, okay. the whole thing. Uh... This is uh this is the second quote that is it in that tweet that they put. Uh I'm gonna skip a little bit. Um speaking up is the best thing that you can do. Just speak up and prove that you want to see us because we want to be there for you and we want anything that we can put uh put on the show for you guys. Now, niggas have been saying this shit for a long fucking time that the women's division needs to get better for the past fucking three years. Stop. Putting the shit on us. AE, these AEW motherfuckers love to put the fucking work on us and telling us to do more. When they're the close, their mouths are the closest to the fucking ear to the person, to, to the people making those decisions. What is it? I think it was Nyla Rose not too long ago. That was just like, uh, I, I think it was just about like the uh, the Wimley shit about like the build or whatever, and it was just like you fans, blah blah blah, this and that. Like y'all don't know nothing, you know. We're gonna put on a great show anyway, even though the TV's bad. Like it, with AEW, it was always our fucking fault. Yeah, that's so fucking whack. And then if you do do any kind of you know fair criticism or kind of suggestions, you'll have people who who will automatically throw it in. You know, this is a bad faith take. Yeah, they, 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 when you it, speak up wanting a better for AEW, AEW fans are the first niggas to tell you to shut the fuck up. Yeah, and just like you can be like the nice, you know, what kind of reminds me of it's very much like that kind of like how Atlanta reacted to Keith Lee. Uh, <laughs> like yeah. you just, it was just like, hey, we're, I'm just giving this kind of quick constructive criticism to the point of nigga getting death threats. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, people can't take accountability. Not especially accountability that they don't have to take because they're not involved in the company in any way, but they just feel this need to like defend this company no matter what. Yeah, even um, though it's almost like all some gaslighting shit. It's kind of it's very I, interesting. Yeah, and what, what's crazy is that you know I, I uh, follow me on Twitter uh, at Cyrus on TWR. I had a lot of things to say about the uh, well, not about the commercial per se, but like AEW people having a problem with people. Saying like the commercial's cool, but you know, let's see what's going on in the TV. Like the commercial is cool, it's cool. But like when you watch the product, what you saw does not translate. And of course, that's gonna be an issue with a lot of people. It's been three fucking years, you know, people are not really satisfied with just a commercial. And people shouldn't be satisfied with just a commercial. I want like Chris Atlander saying that. I wonder how she feels when she's getting the bare minimum, fighting for time on Rampage or a fucking collision, you know, probably not getting a lot of shit off, fighting a crazy uphill battle. And then she go on Twitter and niggas saying, oh man, everything's perfect. I love it here. Or I I, I love this women's division. I think everything's going swell. Like, that's crazy. Chris Atlander right and now is saying, please want more. Ask for more, and niggas is just like, nah, man, that Tony Storm shit kind of fire right now. Yeah, as far as far as Tony Storm goes, uh, shout out to Chris Novak in the Discord. He kind of pointed out she hasn't really worked a match in like a month. But I, I'd have to check back the last match she, she had. She, but she, she, she fought, wait, hold on, let, let me stop before you continue. She, she they finally give her the timeless Tony Storm shit. She beats Sky Blue's ass. She beats uh. 
what is it, Kira Hogan ass, and then she's done. Now, now yeah. she's gonna get it. Now she's gonna get a world title match. Like that's terrible I mean, fucking fuck booking. I mean, fucking Willow Willow Nightingale got one. <laughs> she ain't one shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> what she? What has she done? Like, what? What is a women's title match worth? I don't even. I don't know. You know what? As much as we shit on the um the rankings, they might need to bring that back. Honestly, that, that <laughs> at, it, at it, least it, at least it made it, some of the booking it, it, make a little bit more sense. Yeah. Um. That's funny that you said that. Nah, because because it did. It 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 really fucking it, did. It really did. You could rack up twenty wins on fucking dark, and then you got title. You know yeah, what? Right? We, we we called that lazy booking, but now looking back, that might have been hey, the best we could uh, get. <laughs> okay, we called it lazy booking, but we didn't think these niggas would get any lazier. You feel me? Like <laughs> like it couldn't get it couldn't get any worse. Where is that yeah, now? Right? You feel me? Like I, I I thought we would you know learn from this at least like. If you want to throw a random title match every now and then, sure, right. But my nigga, every week, nigga, what the fuck, Amy Secure getting the title shot for? Yeah. Why? Why? And it, and then you know, if, if if Willow fucking Nightingale could lose it and not win shit in a really long fucking time, give it to a Ty Valkyrie. Fuck it. I think she's like hurt. she hurt. I don't know. You watch the shows, not me. I, 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 you watch those on, other AEW shows. She had not. She had not been on TV in a long time. Like realistically, what the fuck is stopping a Kira Hogan from getting one? A Diamante getting one? A Abaddon getting one? Good Chris. Well, I, Chris. Uh, well, well, Halloween already passed. What the fuck going on, right? Well, Abaddon had her match on Saturday, and it would have been the worst match I've seen this week if Chef I didn't watch Chelsea Green versus uh, versus, uh <laughs> the, whoever the, the fuck she was. Fight. <laughs> Yeah, they were they were both they were both basically the same match except the Chelsea Green one was much it was somehow worse. I don't know how they oh, no, to do it. Hey, they that might have been the worst the... match I've seen this year. Or second behind the Texas Chains all match. <laughs> it was, oh, it was really nah. bad. It that, was that, really that, bad. The the the, the fucking uh, what is it? The bottom three has to be that Texas Chainsaw Street fight, the Ronda Rousey, uh Shayna Baszler. Oh, yeah, and then that match. That, that was, the yeah, trick or the trick the trick or street fight. <laughs> Um, those matches, all those matches were really fucking terrible. That Ronda match but, was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> they beat yeah, each other uh, too. <laughs> but yeah, d- dialing it back to the uh to the talking point or whatever. Um, yeah, no, nah, it, it it's crazy that like people are fighting. People people are using their voice as like Chris Statlander is like going for. All you know, I guess. I, hey man, I say a lot of shit about AEW, but I ain't fucking wrong. Um, but you know, people are giving these like fair criticisms saying that, hey man, we want more women stuff and we're not getting it. And niggas is tired of that. I'm a, I'm gonna keep saying it because, you know, I would still like to see it, but like y- y- y'all can't just keep putting the work on us. You feel me? Because if you really want people to care and you want really people to stop tuning the fuck out whenever y'all guys are on screen, it takes the book, it, it takes the creative team, it takes booking to like put that work in. And you know what the quite crazy part is? We know yeah. it works and we know it's successful to have the women on the show because yeah, we've seen exactly. <laughs> we see how it works in, in like, action on the on the on the rival brand. Like you like if you put the work in now, all those negative tens on the fucking quarterlies, like those would stop over time, you know? Like you will not receive diminishing returns if you do, you know, if you put the work in, but you're not doing that shit now. So that that negative 10 goes to negative 11, negative 15, and you know, niggas is just really not going to fucking care. It's unfortunate. Uh, Cuz the girls are working hard. Yeah, and I don't know. A AEW fans really might be their worst enemy. Cause if they're not gonna demand a better product, they're never gonna get it. And AEW is gonna get lazier and lazier and seeing what more can they get away with. Uh so that's that on that. Um let's get into the next one. I didn't want to laugh at this, but uh it made me laugh when I heard it. I'm sorry. Um, funny. Brian Brian Danielson is out with an orbital bone injury and is getting surgery. My nigga, you just came back. Yeah, it seemed like um, I guess when 
Andrade did that back elbow move that he likes to do. I think it was a miscommunication and he got popped right in the eye. Mm. I wonder if it's the same eye that um to catch yeah, more Shima Shima took out. <laughs> I do I do it have to be, I'd imagine. I don't think that whatever that bone is is hundred percent, but just in general, it's it's just really sad kind of seeing Brian's body break down like this. He clearly can't keep doing this like much longer it, it, it's, it's getting to the point where i'm like it's, it's getting kind of sad just to see this guy keep getting injured every time he goes out there just working that style he does either he has to like tone it down a lot i, I just don't think he's willing to do that I, it doesn't seem like that's his personality to tone it down he wants if he's gonna go out there he's gonna go all out so i think at this point we gotta like someone has to pull, someone gotta pull i don't know if it's his wife or family or tony khan or somebody gotta pull him to the side and say all right bro Enough he's is his, enough. He's his worst enemy, bro. Yeah, he really is. It, 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 so, someone has to stop him and say, okay, bro, I know you love this shit. Like, you're willing to die for this shit, but, like, we can't have this. Anymore. This is, like... <laughs> <laughs> you want to die for this shit, but we don't want you to die for this shit. We, 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 you got kids you want to be able to carry around and run around with. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's good. You had a great career. You've been wrestling for, like, damn near 25 years, bro. Like, you're good. You did what you need to do. Mm-hmm. Relax. Put the suit on, dog. That's all you gotta do. Put the suit on. Um, I think if a uh Brian's AEW run stops here, it's just like that's kind of sad. <laughs> but hey, man, he... I wanted to. I, you know, that's my guy. You know, that's my goat for real. Like that's my number one guy. At, at this point, even I want him to stop. This hey, is man. Enough. Enough, man. <laughs> It is what it is. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't got any more to say on that, bro. Um, I mean, it, it, it's sad to see Brian go out like this, but, you know, AEW was not really giving me what I really wanted from Brian. Um, and bad enough. I mean, he worked the next match afterwards with no kind uh, of face protection, just worked the match with a broken orbital bone mm-hmm. just to write him off, even though he didn't really need to do that. But he yeah. had to see like it's just like no one's no one's advising the dude like yo you don't have to do this bro I'm not wrestling I look I I, I, I ain't gonna pretend to be tough if my my face is broken I'm not wrestling dog yeah I mean you know it's not it, maybe maybe if he took that minor precaution he'd still be here you know and I mean Bri- Brian face mask era probably would have been hard hard um but you know yeah man uh. Tony Khan not taking care of them, taking care of his wrestlers, bro. He really just let them do whatever the fuck they want. Um, that that poor that poor leadership. Vince was just, <laughs> niggas say Vince is a bad guy for looking out for his nigga, bro. <laughs> he was just like, hey man, just, we we not doing that. He was like, what? Care about my safety? And they go through like twenty different doctors. I mean, I'm happy he got cleared for that though. But yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's good. It's good. Um, and good news. Well, possible good news. Uh, the creeds might be going. Uh, might be going up. According, hey, according hey. to Meltzer, he said all signs that they're, they're moving up to Raw. Um, a hey, after after that Alpha Academy match, which I call. Um, shit, why the fuck not, motherfucker? They, <laughs> they they fucking killed it out there, and after they won. That. Yeah, I think that's kind of be the going to be the new kind of formula for the NXT call ups. Have them come up, kind of just low key, and just win a match. Like and that's like that's like their graduation. I felt like I felt like I like won. You feel me? Like I I was a I was a proud parent. It's it's very fulfilling watching somebody in any kind of aspect start from the bottom, mm-hmm. move off just like raw skill to like advancing in their career just to watch them succeed and grow into whatever it is it's a really cool feeling so just watching like we, we've been watching these guys been there since what like the end of the of the of the black and gold era to to now and just seeing their growth and see how much more comfortable they are it was just it was really fulfilling to see that on raw and then have them win and you know winning the crowd over which can be hard as a new act um, it's it's cool. It was really cool. It was a really cool moment. I could tell it was really it was really cool for them. It looked like Ivy now is about to cry, like <laughs> on mm-hmm. the way out. Um, uh, I Ivy yeah. uh, uh, Ivy being there was great. 
um, I'm 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 glad she was there. I thought they, I thought they were gonna elect her Lopez. Or I ain't gonna lie. I mean, <laughs> I didn't go. I didn't think she's gonna make it. <laughs> but, but my my thing is is that like, the, the, there's no replacement for Ivy, but they definitely had the replacement for Electra Lopez, <laughs> and shit, Zelina Russell's way better. Like, man, I don't I don't know where dog. I don't know what the fuck they about to do with Electra Lopez, bro. I mean, she could hold she could hold Lola down. She the, know what it is. The fact that she survived the last cut, crazy. She she ain't she ain't doing shit for that roster. She don't even be on level up like being a body. Mm. Oh, what like what does she do? Let me see how many matches she had this year. <laughs> she's Ooh, had what does she cook, bro? She's had nine matches. This year? Yeah. When was the last match? Uh, uh, I feel like that was recent. Like it was probably like it, was, it, it wasn't that it wasn't that long ago, actually. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, is uh J I think it was JC Athea Hale, right? Let me see. I'm gonna try to go through them right now. It was it gotta be. Yeah, it was um it was a tag match. Come on, man. I watched the fucking product, man. My my memory is so garbage. About? My memory is so trash, bro. <laughs> I can't remember nothing. If it wasn't for this spreadsheet, bro, I swear. <laughs> but um yeah, I, I'm very, very excited for the Crees to be on uh, whatever show. Um, Julius tweeted, you know, hey, SmackDown. So let's see yeah, if he's he on might. there. I don't know what tag team they got over there. Um, the Brawley and Bruce are pretty deadly. That's pretty much it. I, I guess I guess Waller and um, Theory. Waller and, and Theory, their team now. That's pretty uh, much it. They, they, uh, Waller and Solo? Theory eat that, eat, that, eat that loss. Oh, it's a negative. <laughs> Jimmy <and> Solo? <laughs> They're not winning that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Waller and uh, Theory. They, 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 they're, not, they're not winning that match either. Hmm? They're not winning that match. I feel like they will. Waller and Theory? They love Waller and Theory. Shit, don't mean they can't eat a loss. Shit. Mm. They, clearly, oh, they, they like they could they, uh, what is it? They like LA Knight. That nigga about to eat the clean pen, bro. They, they can they can they can just beat up LWO. What am, what am I talking about? They can just go, oh, can just go beat up Joaquin Wild to Cruz Del Toro. <laughs> These mm, niggas out of here. That's not let's not do it today. Um, <laughs> dude's out of here, bro. Let 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 uh, you know what you know what could happen, bro. Let let them beat. Theory and Waller with a good KO brothers. and it, with a with a KO interference. Oh, fuck the Good Brothers! I don't. Yeah, I, I don't want to see them on TV. I don't want to <laughs> see them job. I don't want to see them in segments. Uh, what is it when they about to uh, when they about to do the Thanksgiving uh, or whatever potluck type shit? What would they be doing uh, for Fourth of July? I don't want to see them niggas in caterers. You, you want to see them in the vignette? I don't. I don't want to see them the, in, ho- the holiday party. I don't. I don't want to see. I don't want to see that shit neither. I do not want to see the Good Brothers ever. AJ, I get, I get, I get. They your boys, but they are fucking bums. Yeah, gotta agree. That shit's crazy, but yeah, man. Um, I I, I hope they're on SmackDown. Uh, I think it, I think that'd be cool for them. But what is it? I think it's a SmackDown for the go home, right? For Jewel? Yeah, it it was already taped, so I don't I I, I, oh, I haven't read okay. the um I haven't read the spoilers. So I don't I don't even know what's happening on the show. I mean, it, even if they like main uh, on the uh, you know on main event, let me go check know? real quick. Yeah, he, look up their name. Even if they on main okay. event or some shit, I think that'd be great for SmackDown or uh, I wouldn't let's do a see. dark match. But... Let's see. Let's or like see what is it? Um, their after show match because that's that's where they be putting the main eventers in the six man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're they're no um they're not on the show. They're not on the show. But, uh, sorry, sorry for the spoilers, guys. <laughs> I feel like they'll be there soon. Don't worry. Um, that is it for the trenches. Let's get into AEW, which I feel like we could go through pretty fucking quick. Um, main topic, the main event. Um. MJF is looking for a tag partner. He's getting rejected by everybody. Uh, Wardlow shows up at one point being like, boy, I want my lick back. And I was just like, nigga, who's you? (laughs) 
Who gives a fuck what you want? A little, a little too late for that, buddy. Yeah, that shit done fucking sale. What was he to you again? Um, yeah, I, I feel like honestly, I feel like his gripe. I, I feel like uh, he should have a bigger gripe with Joe because Joe's the, the the nigga that really put his ass down. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, that happened. What is it? Uh, the acclaim. You know, they're in reincurring segments for it to happen. Uh, MJF doesn't even consider Roger Strong in the kingdom. And Roger Strong keep bitching. T, uh, Team TNA was there laughing at MJF for having no friends. I thought that was uh, that was funny. But I was <laughs> I was like, why are you here? Um, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, the one thing I, I, I thought was really interesting is that uh, MJF went to Kenny Omega's locker room to like try to ask. I don't know how that match at Collision ended. I don't know if they took like uh, did like a handshake or any shit like that. They did. They did a handshake, a hug, promos on each other, all kinds okay. of shit. I honestly, when he went up to the Kenny Omega thing, I thought that was nice. I, I thought that was a nice addition. Um, yeah, it would have been cool because you know he doesn't really have any like real prior history with like the elite or anything like that, and for yeah, it, 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 yeah it so matter. for his match with Omega to end very cordially like that, I thought that would have been interesting. Uh, at least, you know, but um, Jericho opens the door to Kenny Omega's locker room. Um, at like at, at, at like MJF was interrupted something. Hit him, hit, hit, him with, <laughs> hit him with a uh, a he's busy. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey man, I'm trying to run the play, brother. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so uh, it's the acclaim. Um, I don't know why they prolonged it so. Uh, you know, we we could have got it out the way a long time it, ago. It, it's showing Max's desperation. I guess. Um, yeah, man, the match is whatever. Yeah, it, it was it was a pretty. I mean, as far as the claim matches go, they're usually not the the, the hashtag work rate matches anyway. So I wasn't really expecting a lot. Very standard TV match. Um, there's not much to really write home about it as far as uh main events go. It's kind of pretty just standard eight man tag match, and in the end, uh, MJF got pinned by Jay White. So they really trying to put like clean. They're trying to put a lot of uh heat on this Jay White MJF situation. Um, MJF can't can see, not seem to get the upper hand on Jay White on Saturday at Collision. MJF tried to steal the title back. And it was unsuccessful, and then got ran out the arena. Which was, which was, pretty, which was pretty wild for your big for your world champion. Babyface got ran off from his belt. Ran, That's crazy. No, but I I really think it's crazy for MJF to really be the world's longest reigning world champ, and you couldn't even get the visual with him holding the title at the word. End of the you couldn't even... like. I'm so, I'm so, I'm sorry. Like I'm I'm not I'm not booking mastermind or you know any like super creative genius and no shit like that. But nigga, are y'all dumb. That seemed like a fucking toss up. Like <laughs> that seemed like the yeah. easiest shit you could do. You'd want that visual of the championship between the two people, um, the two longest reigning world champions, and you can't have that because, <laughs> bro. Yeah, we, I mean, that storyline. Yeah, it could have ended a while ago, honestly. Or like he could have, they we could have did this eight man long time ago. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. So that's kind of where we're at with it, as far as far as kind of. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's it just <laughs> that, that that's the that that's our main event title picture, people. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of we got a while to go. We still got like, what another month? Oh no, when when is full gear? It should be in a few weeks now. Um, I think is it next week? It might be next week. I feel like it's in two weeks. We should know these things. <laughs> it's November eighteenth. Really. November eighteenth. Saturday, November eighteenth. So two weeks. The two weeks, you're correct. Come on, man. I know things. Um Yeah, no, I, I thought it was very like for MJ have to get pinned clean there. Just for just for MJF to win it at the pay per view, like what do what are we really keeping Jay White this strong for? Maybe Jay White wins it. 
may, maybe Jay White wins, wins it, then they run it back at World's End, and then he wins it back. And uh, no, I, th- I think MJF loses, and that's his goodbye. Huh? So MJ, MJF loses twice to Jay White. Yeah, he, he, he goes out on his back. No, uh, comes over, um, uh, comes over to Stanford. Who says no? I say no to coming to the Stanford part. Um, mm, they're not even in Stanford anymore. <laughs> Wait, where are they now? Isn't it, didn't they move it? Yeah, it's the TKO shit. Where is that headquarters at now? Um, maybe it's still Stanford. It just a, a new building. I don't know. I would say I would say no because Jay White is really not resonating with that crowd. Like you said, <laughs> nigga got no aura. So I think it'd be crazy for him to win that belt. Um, What's in honestly, York, by the that, way? honestly, I think it would be a great little booking thing for MGF to lose at Worlds End. You're, you know, whatever. I just think that uh, sucks that it's Jay White. Like, if Jay White was connecting with the crowd and you presented me that idea, shit. Fuck it. Yeah. it. Yeah, it doesn't help when you know the number two guy in the in the stable is kind of it feels more over than you do, as in Juice mm-hmm. Robinson. Um or just you know, at least resonating with the crowd. Um Yeah, no crowd fuck with Juice Robinson. Yeah. Uh I think I don't know. I don't feel like AEWs are in a really good place to not have MJF as their champ, especially like if this is the nigga that's gonna take it, you know. We, we still got some time, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But I like where your idea was, um, or where your head was at. If he's leaving, you know what I mean. I don't. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Quick hit. I'm. I'm. Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Willow loses. Uh. Tony Storm comes out and then Hikaru Shida says, fuck this black and white shit. It gives her, uh, what, what, what's the knee called? They just call it the katana now? She beats me. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Shining Wizard? I don't know. What is it called? And, and niggas say, I don't watch the show? I don't, uh, I don't know the name of her move. That's crazy. You we, watch, we see, you, you watch we, all three shows and don't know where her finisher we, is? We, we see Hikaru Shida once every three months. I don't, I don't know what her moves are called. That's crazy. People say I don't watch the show. Um, so uh Karshita does that and then they just say fuck it. Uh Julia Hart show uh pulls up behind Willow, they have a stare down, and then Sky Blue comes out and then she has a stare down <laughs> with um with Julia Hart, then turns back to Willow and then misses uh Julia Hart and the crowd goes fucking nuts. Um and Willow is a fucking afterthought after uh after everything is said and done with no direct with no real direction for her. Um, well, she that loss. To be fair, she is involved with that whole situation with Sky Blue and that Julia shit. Hart. That shit passed her now. <laughs> the story no, don't need her no more. She, she's still there because because she was the one who initially got um she's the one who talked Sky Blue out of turning to the dark side. Over, over these last few weeks on 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 uh, rampage and so, uh, so Willow is going to be collision. a valet for Sky Blue when she eventually faces Julia Hart. So she's still she's still involved, right? Yeah, she's still involved. This is all you know. No, no, no. Uh, that's fine. You know the vibes. Colt man, what do like? Who the fuck were they fooling? Of course, he was gonna, you know, team with the baby faces like. Well, why the fuck would he turn them down? Um, and then they have like a little beat down brawl. I'm glad Edge kind of kept the yapping to a minimal. Um, the meat writing of Tony Schiavone. If you knew how many hats this nigga has, uh, nigga, we know how many hats he has. They did a whole statement about his fucking promotion on Twitter. They uh, did do that. <laughs> like, I forgot they did that. Nigga, I know. Also, he's part of talent relations. 
you're doing a pretty fucking shit job if everybody still hates uh fucking Thunder Rosa. So like you're not who doing was that who was at collision it looked it looked fine perfectly healthy <laughs> I saw her um ta- ta- talent talent relations you let you let jungle boy uh pull up on punk and get his ass whooped I'm not giving this motherfucker a standing ovation for anything Mr. Cope um this nigga's you know pretty what? shit at his job you know it's kind of crazy I've been, I've been, I gave it a couple weeks to really like let it see what's going on Metalingus, I don't know what's up with AEW speakers. It don't no, hit the same. It don't, bro. Cause that shit hollow. That's why. Yeah, it don't. It don't hit the same when, when the music comes out. Like when it compared to when he's in W. I don't know. Maybe it's louder. Cause you know what? Even like when I was at the show on Saturday, uh, like the the video packages, like the one Claudio had, I could barely hear. I don't know what he was saying until yeah, all I heard uh, was like him. I heard him call out Okada. I heard him call out Orange Cassidy. That's all I could really hear. Though I couldn't like tell what he was saying. Mm-hmm. So I don't. I don't know. The audio it, it don't hit the same. In um, hey man, I, I've been it's saying AEW production ass. Yeah, not the best. Um. So that happened. The elite loses their eight man belt, and once again, we're at the friend. We're doing the friendship story again with the elite. Matt Jackson is pissed off at every uh everybody taking shots at fucking uh Kenny saying fuck Jericho. I remember what you did, bitch Annie. And Kenny said, Hey, whoa, 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 yeah. big guy. Um <laughs> I'm gonna peg brother. Yeah, but like he mad at everybody but Hangman Page. And also, dog, I do not care about the elite being like they're they're the main Perpetrators, you, you, you could you could have stopped right at elite, bro. You could say, I don't care, elite. I would have been with that. I'm riding with you. These those niggas are the main perpetrators of the my friends, nigga. I do not fucking care. Also, these are the R O H trios titles, bro. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? That was a sign of that was a, a sign of their friendship, and without that, it shows that their their bond is not as strong anymore because they lost those championships. You're not honestly, you're not you're not looking at it in a deeper in a deeper like you know honestly philosophical your fr- level. Your 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 friends are mad fickle if they dip on you after one loss. That's all I'm saying. Nobody dipped though. Hey, hey man, dip that, on that nigga. He had to go, he, he had to go press the man that broke into his house. <laughs> <laughs> a little understandable that week. You know oh, I mean? shit. But, but, but Matt Jackson didn't feel like it was justified. Um, yeah, no, nah, every little shit is always like a big deal with these niggas. I, I just don't give a shit anymore. Or a shit about you? Your house didn't <laughs> get broken into? Hey. He he should have put up on Matt Jackson and be like, fuck is your problem, man? Nigga was in my nursery. <laughs> or. If they were real friends, they should have ran up on Swerve too with with Hangman. Fuck the match. You, you feel me? You know what I mean? The it's post real. match, the post match was funny as shit with Matt Jackson having his little baby tantrum, yeah, yeah. taking the chairs and shit. <laughs> and then the niggas that just won took the belts from you niggas is in the background walking away casually. <laughs> My dog, AW so production is so ass. I would not have them niggas in the shot at all. Them niggas would not be still like. These are the heels. What the fuck were they still doing out there? Cla- have, uh, you, dapping niggas up? Maybe. Why the fuck was y'all still out there? Um, but yeah. Cra- cra- crashing out over the ROH titles is fucking ridiculous, bro. Also, if we had a similar, like, let's say we have friendship bracelets, bro. My shit breaks. You gonna be mad at me, bro? You gonna be mad at me? You clearly didn't care about it enough. You's a bitch. Right. You know what I mean? Um, they came from the heart. If they want a little Taylor Swift joints, do they share at the concerts? My, da- my daughter taught me about that. She told me <laughs> they, they they give away friendship bracelets. Yeah, they, nah, yeah, they like they like have a whole like community. And they all just make bracelets and niggas like you leave the concert like twenty bracelets on your wrist. I seen it. That's crazy. It's it's, it's, it's a cult, bro. It's scary. Oh, I know. Um, she saw she saw one and a half million streams. I mean, album sales in a, in a week off her, on a re-release. She said, "I'm gonna get that money back." <laughs> she said, "Fuck on, a, bro. on a re-release, dog. You know, you know what kind of power that is. 
Michael it's, Jackson-esque. It's, 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 these are songs we already heard. She said, "Nah, these are the, these with the new these with the new voice." You feel she me? Got, she, she got Kendrick to go back and re-record his verse. Yeah, <laughs> that's power. <laughs> that trash ass verse. Um, <laughs> Big Show is Jericho's teammate for their eight man against fucking uh, the Don Callis family when. When uh, Kenny Omega was just like, Kota Bushi's coming, I was just like, you didn't have to announce that. We know that dickhead was coming. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we that's, just, that's just no surprise to anybody, bro. Who gives a shit? But announcing Paul White as if we care is crazy. Also, why the fuck is Kyle Fletcher still with them? Don Callis was shit. Don Callis was shitting on you just about a week ago saying, you a weak ass nigga, bro. We don't want you in this family. And now you siding with them? You was a bitch. We ain't got nowhere else to go. <laughs> is it... You was a bitch. Is it me or did uh, or did Paul White look like he was like afraid to move because he like topple over like his knees don't work or something? <laughs> <laughs> like like once he got to the top of the ramp, he was not moving. <laughs> he was yeah, he, he yeah he was mad stationary, <laughs> bro. <laughs> He's afraid to move, take a step. Cause that nigga all body no legs. <laughs> this is gonna be a mess. Oh my god. Uh, allegedly. Pa- oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say allegedly, um, Chris Jericho filed for the Jarrah Show trademark. Um, keep that shit. That shit ain't gonna make no money for them in the AEW. <laughs> best, I will say, that's the best mashup theme WWE's ever done. Um, most of them have been terrible. Most notably, the Booker T RVD one might be, might be, the, worst, <laughs> be the worst mashup theme I've ever heard. I don't even want to hear that. Yeah, even, yo, when you get a chance, please, anybody who hasn't heard it, go on YouTube, look up the Booker T RVD mashup theme. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I'm gonna look it up right now. Booker T R D mashup. Okay. Let's it's see. so bad, bro. One of a kind sucker. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, no, nah, that is crazy. In a bad. What were they thinking? Oh, this is this shit type ass. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that is really garbage. <laughs> the the way it does the guitar <laughs> the guitar themes. Can you dig it, sucker? Do, 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 do. And then they just loot. <laughs> hey. The random ass one of a kind in the back. <laughs> it's so bad. Hey, J- Jim Johnson was oh. not cooking with that shit. That's just garbage. Not cooking at all, bro. Um and then their major announcement was fucking pre-sale tickets are up for one of their fucking shows. What a for all, in, for all into, by the way. Tony Khan, you the dick, nigga. <laughs> no, that pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie to you. That pissed me off. You the, you the fucking dick. You know, I, I knew it, it. that was the equivalent of like, you know, your boss calling a conference for something that could have been an email. Yeah. Honestly, that, that was just like, what are we doing, bro? You, you could have Excalibur rattle that off real quick. You would have did it in yeah. half the time. You know what I mean? It was just like, Okay, and then Captain Pusher. Um, Fuck, I care for it. That is it for AEW. Um, except for those sticks like the usuals. So, uh, might be worse by your reaction. <laughs> no, this was, you know why this was, uh, I thought this was one of the worst episodes of the year. Because at minimum, usually, AEW will give me a good match. You know what I mean? Like a, a, a match that stood out to me. Nothing stood out on the show. There was no match. I was like, damn, that was fire. I If you wanted to say the opener, which we didn't talk about, which was um <laughs> Claudio versus Orange Cassidy. Oh, I forgot um, that happened. Which, which was the best match of the night. Uh, which, you know, Orange Cassidy won and then. Oh, yeah. Moxley we didn't talk about Moxley. none of the Moxley shit. Yeah. Moxley came out and jumped him and then beat his ass. And then I don't, I don't know where best friends were. <laughs> Where the fuck was best friends at? <laughs> Who gives a shit where they are? Uh, yeah, Orange Cassidy has ass whooped, so it's gonna be Moxley versus Orange Cassidy at full gear. They're gonna run it back. I'm glad Moxley's okay. Yeah, um, he's good to go. Came back relatively quick. Maybe that concussion was mild. Uh, all right. So, AEW. I mean, uh, NXT. Halloween Havoc, night two. Um, let, let, let's get into it. Uh, Creed Bros uh, versus Angel uh, Angel and Humberto in a table of ladders and scares. And if you want to talk about an opener, this is a fucking opener. 
First of all, these niggas is going dummy. Creed's got to relax, bro. You just got called up. You don't need to <laughs> risk your tailbone <laughs> like this. It's not necessary. Um, yeah, man. I thought that this was a really good, very. It was definitely very spotty. It was just a lot of it was like spot to next spot, oh, to yeah. next spot to next spot. Not much. There wasn't much psychology or anything like that. It was like we about to get some shit off. Just vibes. Quick. And you know it's what? Very, you know what? It's very AEWs actually. Really think about it, in in a sense of just kind of like next spot to next spot to next, like one of those kind of matches. Which I, yeah. I think in a vacuum when it's not done all the time, it's fine. Yeah. I think it's great. I, I just, so I wasn't really mad at it in this in this sense. Um, but you know I would like I would like Humberto and um, Angel to win something because they are they have they're winless this year. I would like so. for them to be interesting before they get a win. Maybe it'll be more interesting if they win something. Mm. Yeah, no, you ever thought about yeah. that? The catch twenty two. You know, um, you feel me? You know when they was winning shit. I didn't really fucking care. So when were, when were they winning? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what it is with Angel Garza and Humberto. I think it was a situation where they got called up too early, but the reason they got called up was because of the pandemic. So I feel like they didn't really get the chance to develop what they were supposed to be at any point. Yeah, now they can. I feel like now they can. Like honestly, I'm gonna be real. I think Garza's great. Um, I think Alberto's great. I think they're both great. Maybe not but, together. But I, I don't know. They haven't. I still don't see how their current character correlates to those like weeks worth of vignettes we got. <laughs> yeah, what, like what the fuck was that? The I I miss my grandpa promos. Yeah, bro. for like yeah. weeks. I I didn't, I didn't uh I don't know where it's going either. They were just like, man, and, I miss and, our, and I, thought, I, I miss our grandpa, and then came yeah. back assholes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? I, I'm not familiar with their grandpa's work, so I don't know if he had like some super duper heel or something. But I, I don't I don't. It was it was strange. I mean, that shit needs to be expressed. Though. Like, yeah, I I feel like if that was the case, NXT probably would have told us. But yeah, I don't. Just, but it, still, but I don't know, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because I. They, it's like they had something and then they were just like, "Let's pivot back to generic heel." Yeah, there's there's other teams on NXT that I care about way more uh, than yeah. those motherfuckers. So, with that being said, good match though. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not great match. Take, I won't. I won't take the match away from them. That was good. Um, that one spot on the apron. Where I think it was Garza set Brutus up for so like some crazy like he did a reversal then you know spun back and then grabbed the arm and I was just like this yeah. shit has way too much fucking setup but the crash I, I didn't see the table or when it was set up so when I saw the when the table was there I was just like okay that was pretty cool but that shit took so much time to set up I hope they don't do that again. <laughs> Yeah, Let that be well, the I, I don't. Thing. I don't think anybody would be wild enough to fucking take that kind of move, except for <laughs> Rudy <Yeah. Creed. laughs> His crazy ass would do that. That boy um, earned earn his keep. Um, and I like the Brutus ball through the table, even though hey, it's just like hey, Brutus, hey, Brutus. Where the fuck are you going? Doing? <laughs> like Brutus, where are you going? Yeah. And he crashes looks, with the table. It looks like that's their finisher now. I guess the Brutus ball going to be the. Finisher. I like it. I on, yeah. On, it, what it was works. the other finisher? Um, Julius Creed close lighting them really close lighting the guy really hard. <laughs> That's uh-huh. Kind of whatever. I thought it, I thought that was just like his solo shit, but uh, maybe maybe that was the case. They didn't um, really have a tag team finish like that. I feel like. Yeah, you, you might be right, but I I like I like the Brutus ball through the table. I thought that was a uh, real crazy, but level one. If that if that's um Creed's. You know, goodbye in NXT, hell of a way to go out. Mm-hmm. And, and with the win. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really re- I'm gonna be tight if I see them niggas on the fucking uh boy if, if I, I see, see them the dusty on cup deadline. If I see if I, if I see the dusty cup bracket and I see the the Creed brothers, yeah. I'm gonna, lose. I'm gonna be fucking tight. Uh Dominic Mysterio versus Nathan Frazier. Um I thought this match was a little weird. Cause it was a lot of Nathan Frazier just outspeed or you know just being fast as shit, just outspeeding Dom. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I know he, I, I know he's a heel, so this statement's not going to mean anything. Like, it didn't really feel like Dom deserved or earned that win. 
But like, I really legitimately feel like Dom may do shit about that match besides spit around and look fucking confused because they just going so fucking fast. Dom, I can tell Dom got trained by his dad because he the way the style he works is such like an early like '90s style heel. Where most of the or like late eighties style here, where like most of the match you're just kind of bumping and feeding. Like all he really did was he sells. He does it really, yeah. really good. That's he makes he his did. opponents look. <laughs> they, he, that's literally a, all he does. And it's a very, it's a very old school kind. It's, it's very similar to kind of um, not exactly, but Ric Flair was like that a lot too. Like a lot of his matches were like ninety percent of it, he getting his ass whooped, and then like the last ten percent he, he gets his shit in and he'll, or he'll cheat the win. And that was kind of how he worked the territories. And I think that's kind of the way Dom kind of structures his matches, just kind of like really get his ass kicked for most of the match, then have Rhea bail him out. I think it's working. I mean, it's clearly working. Um, yeah, oh, no, yeah, the match was cool. Uh, I, I, the match was yeah, cool. I thought the match was nice. Uh, that that wasn't really like a, like a knock at Dom, for real. No, yeah, yeah I know what you meant. But that's yeah, just kind of something I noticed with Dom. I think he's a really good seller, just like his dad is. So it makes sense that he'd be able to sell that well and, and bump that well. Big big things on the right. I, 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 during the hot take segment on his show, someone said you could see um, Dom being a world champion at some point. And I think he could have a Miz type type trajectory, kind of like he might he might win it once or twice if in the right situation if something happens. I can see it. That would mm-hmm. not shock me. Maybe not the maybe not the the big title, maybe the world heavyweight. I don't know. But I I can see it for sure. Yeah. Um. And we get the return of Wesley. Nah. Yeah. yeah. My nigga, you we're supposed to grow past this. <laughs> like you can't be an NXT made Carter forever, bro. You're gonna you're gonna have to want more for yourself, brother. He don't want the he don't want the dragon off smoke. He 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 felt that already. He's like, I'm good, bro. Y'all got it. Like you you lo, lo, love you to death, my brother. You you are a fantastic North American champion. Let's start getting some different aspirations, bro. That U.S. championship looked real nice, bro. You know what's crazy? Earlier in the year, I really had him in contender, like wrestler of the year, and now I don't even I didn't even think about him until just now. I I totally forgot that, about that run he had. That <laughs> uh, what is it? Soon as he lost that. He's off the planet. The, he's off the fucking the dr- planet. The drop, the drop off is crazy. I still think he's like really fantastic. I think he's great. I think he will probably. He's gonna have another great match with Dom. But as soon as he won that, that shit plummeted. Yeah, it's, it's, Doc was it's really interesting. garbage. Because you would have asked me in June who my wrestler of the year was, I would absolutely would have had like Wesley right in the, right in the conversation. Mm-hmm. That time off did not help his momentum at all. I don't know where he was. I don't know if he was hurt or something or some shit yeah, was going on, uh, but it, it really yeah, hurt his momentum. Uh, they they really shouldn't have done that to him because it, it really even hurt. even I feel like the crowd didn't. Really, I mean, they reacted, but it wasn't like nothing crazy. Never I though, mean, it was just Wesley. Like compared to like the other return we had, yeah, with Trick, it was like it was like night. Like okay, yeah, cool, Wesley. All right, yeah. Um, speaking of other returns, we got Braun Breaker killing uh, Mr. Stone, and then the Yetta comes out <laughs> to a pop, big pop, yeah, big, big pop. Um, and then did his thing. Um, hey man, babyface Wagner working, bro. <laughs> Goofy, that damn bad bandage on his head, though. Yeah, he, he looked crazy with the hospital do rag on. Take that shit off. Let's see um, it. Let's see what's going on over let, there. Let, let's see what his new skull <laughs> looking like, bro. What, 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 what if you take that shit off and it, all it did was just fix his hairline, bro? That's fine. You think so, he went to so, Turkey? Uh, <laughs> no. He went, he went to Turkey? Get the new <laughs> hairline? For the hair plug. So so his head, his head shape, you don't see his head shape too crazy. Uh, you get the hair, the hairline. Um, man, nah. It's nothing to really say about the match. It wasn't really a match. It was all angle. So yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it's not listed here because it didn't officially happen. Um, Fallon Henley and Tiffany Strat was supposed to have a match, and Tiffany was just like, "Y'all motherfuckers think that she did me better than me? 
Nah, I ain't having that. <laughs> she did, though. I feel like a little extreme. I feel like we need to do you need to do all that. And she went, 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 went and beat her ass. I hey man, this is the first time I ever seen Tiffany just go, nah, I'm gonna just beat the bitch up. Fuck it. <laughs> Usually, you know, uh this is this is probably the most heelish thing she's done. Yeah, which uh I think is great. You know, it it adds more to I don't really see her being a face anytime fucking soon. So um let's do it. I do. I can see her being a face by next year. Kidding me? Uh not She's right over. now. She's over. Um but yeah, no, I thought that was great. And honestly, as soon as that shit happened, I was just like, okay, we're getting a lot of stuff for that main event. Um Yeah, a lot of time, which you know I expected. Yeah. And what is it? If they main event next week or, you know, we do the match later or whatever, or, or you know, we really built towards that match, which I feel like that'd be cool. Um, we didn't really need to rush it. Or, like, you know, it was something that was going to fill time on uh, Halloween Havoc, but now I feel like it's going to be much bigger now. We're going to take the time and let it marinate and all that shit. I, mean, um, I, I, I got to be honest. I don't care about Fallon Henley. I think Fallon Henley's decent. That's that's the that's, that's all I have to like. I don't think she's bad, so that's it. Like I don't care. Yeah, she don't do, she don't do nothing for me. <laughs> like I don't care for her, but I I think she's like you know, she's inoffensive and you know, she's okay. Like I don't think she's like GG Dolan level where I'm just like, do we really need to build this? <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean. Um, so. Maybe 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 they'll get you to care with the with the long standing feud. You know it's crazy. Her that her uh the feud with her and Miles Bourne, not feud with like Miles Bourne or whatever, but the story for her and Miles Bourne and then uh the Hicks and Gulak camp. That shit started and then closed real fucking quick. They did one match and said we're done. We're done here. Um that's that's fine. I think Gulak is a really good wrestler, bro. Gulak's fantastic. They just they just everything he do on TV, it just finite. <laughs> you know, like that shit just don't last or it don't get over. Zotrain got over. Zotrain era, Gulak. Remember that? No. You remember the Zotrain when uh Enzo Moria was the, the cruiserweight champ? And Gulak was a part of that. Uh, yeah, they, they, like a whole stable, like all the heels on on uh, what you might call it on um, two hundred five live. It was like Gulak. I forgot who else was in that damn stable. Whoever the heels were, Tony Nice. I'm gonna stop you right there, my brother. <laughs> but he no. he was definitely the most over part. He was he... no no more, my king. Uh, Chelsea yeah. Green and Piper Niven, uh, they face off with Chase University. Um, I don't know how this started. Well, how did did they show up last week? Who was that? Chelsea Green and uh, Piper Niven. They showed up last week. I think they did. I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, uh, because they was in the uh, the Little Red Riding Hood in the Big Bad Wolf outfit, right? Yeah, they, yes, they were. Yeah, they had yeah. appeared in the match. I found out who was in the Zo Train. It was Gulak, Tony Nese. Austin Aries and Noam Dar. No, not, not Austin Aries. I'm sorry, Ari Davari. <clears throat> Throwing they up. were fire. They were fire. No, they fucking weren't. If they were. Should if be. they were, if you were, if they were, <laughs> them niggas would still be here. Nobody was watching 205 Live, man. That's why <laughs> they not fire enough to make niggas watch. Um, I like the match with Chase U and uh. Piper thing, um, better than the fucking shitty street fight that they had. How about uh, that better than the street fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't really have. I don't really have much to say about this. Um, before the match, uh, JC was just like, you know, I scratch your back now, you scratch mine, and then she was referring to, she didn't really cheat. Well, like she didn't successfully cheat for. She tried. Chase she you. tried to cheat. That's not yeah, the it, 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 yeah, Sorry. but it, it it didn't work. So I was just like, okay. They want it clean so that he doesn't really owe you anything. And Ch- Andre Chase acknowledged that, like, you tried to cheat, but it didn't work. So he really ain't owe you shit. Um, but uh, 
I'd be very interested if this actually does start like a face turn for JC. Because I, I honestly, Thea, Thea Hale not even suited. She's not even like leaning towards heel anymore. And so uh, she, she kind of reverted back to her, the old. Yeah, like, her, yeah, to her she always. Just, she, just, she just dresses in you know a little bit sexier. <laughs> yeah. uh, she she went to her, she her, went to uh, her club outfits. <laughs> she went to the uh, she went to the class Ember Moon was scared of, bro. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um. Yeah, so I I think you know Chase U will form around JC Jane and do the thing, but I don't see that resulting with them winning the titles or any shit like that. So we'll see what happens. Um, something I didn't mention, I really did like um, Fire and Desire. Um, I'm calling them that now since Mandy is gone. Um, they took that, over. I don't think that fits. I don't think that fits them. I mean, they're fire. fire and desire. And I One desire. Fire. You desire. I first. Yeah, of all, and I, I desire. Him. <laughs> she, she's, she's, she's with me. You know, how I feel about my redhead. But um, whatever. How does Ariana Grace feel about that, bro? I've been off her. She chose stacks over me. She's good. <laughs> stacks. You gotta take stacks over over me. Crazy. Chose the nigga last name Lorenzo. Fuck out of here. Lorenzo? <laughs> Come on, man. Could have tried to keep it. Could have been the Allen, bro. <laughs> Good enough. Try to keep it strictly um Italian. I, I get it. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, though. I got <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I... gotta be an FIB, bro. <laughs> oh no, uh not FIB, FBI. Right? FBI. Sorry. I was thinking <laughs> I did the, G, I did the GPA I was, acronym. I was, I was I was saying it in my head, I was like, that don't make sense. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a GTA 5 video earlier. Um, yeah. Uh, hold on. I mean, I don't know why I closed my phone. I need to pull it back up for the notes. Women's breakout finals. Lola Vice versus Kalani Jordan. We fucking here, baby. Yeah. I should I should have bet the house on it. I knew. I knew. I saw the vision a long, a long ways ago. I said, yeah, yeah. She's, she's next up. Everything, um, everything. When the match started, I saw niggas going, "Oh man, Kalani!" I said, "Fuck that! We staying strong, my nigga. Anything is possible." Um, uh, I, I, I want to speak on um Kalani Jordan because I think looked great. Is yeah, I think it's really impressive how much she's advanced within like the last like three months since she's been on TV. Um, I thought. I used to always make fun of her cute little arm drag. It wasn't cute this time. It, it, there was some real like yeah, velocity some that arm. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> like the moves looked a lot. She looked more comfortable out there, which is always a good sign. It looked. It, it was very. It's very promising to me. Just how fast she's advancing and getting the mm-hmm. moves down. I think I saw her like the promo she did in, in the in the parking lot on on the mobile. The the thing. I need her. I need some more confidence in, in the mic work. I I, I, I yeah. gotta feel like she believes in herself, and I feel like we have we're not there yet. Um, but that that'll come with time, hopefully. But yeah, yeah. as far as in, as far as in ring goes, I think she's gonna be great. I think her stealing from the uh, RVD playbook is smart because no one else does that because no one else can do that. So that's a, that's that's a, I mean, sky's the limit for Kalani Jordan. I I thought people were saying she should have won. I'm like, I, I think she's gonna be fine. If she didn't win the I, breakout, breakout, I, I, the breakout I, I, tournament isn't the fucking end all be all. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Also, I do don't, do I don't stuff. feel like she should have won. Um, I think traditionally it's been baby faces usually win the um breakout tournaments. If I'm not mistaken, I'd have to look at the, with, uh, with with uh with a champ currently being a face. You know, you don't. I mean, want to go the heel? Also, is this like? Yeah, I I know you're gonna say you know you don't have to do it, but when the ch- when the chant was a heel, a baby face always won it. I'm looking at it now. Yeah, okay. So as far as the men's ones, there's been faces winning, but the the women's one, uh, Tiffany was last year, and Lola Vice this year, so it's been heels winning it. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, all good stuff. Wait, but uh, Ro- Roxanne won the breakout, right? That's what Mandy was checking. Oh, I'm bugging. You're right. Roxanne beat Tiffany. I read it wrong. You're yeah. right. You're right. Because I was going to say, damn, they did three already? Yeah, um, you're right. 
but yeah, so I, I really didn't see Kalani Jordy winning. Uh, I thought it was great. And last week I mentioned, um, I don't know if I mentioned that here, but um, I wanted to hear Lola Vice's mic work and stuff like that. She she does a lot of transitioning between English and Spanish. Um, that doesn't bother me necessarily, but uh, I don't know. Because I feel like whenever that is done, they say it in English and they repeat it back in Spanish. Or the other way around. Ray Mysterio loves doing that. He'll say something in Spanish yeah. and immediately say something in English at the same thing in English. But I know enough Spanish that she's not doing that. So I think she might want to like start doing that. And mm. she has a deep ass voice. <laughs> she she got a kid, she got a killer voice, bro. Um that's the voice Abby now needs. Yeah. Uh <laughs> yes. So but, uh, instead, instead of the mom voice. I think it's great. I, I I think <laughs> the thing is with the voice, she could never turn heel. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's so soothing. Like I, I <laughs> like just, like just like if you see her and just don't like if she didn't talk if if she was on some like 1998 China type shit where she just didn't talk and she just, like stood there intimidating. Shit, even China, like, even China's voice was bad, soft. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is very similar to China, but at least yeah. well, I guess because China's just bigger. Yeah, she's fucking massive. <laughs> that's that's why they ain't let her talk. She was like, no, we can't have this lady talk. <laughs> no, you're, you're way too nice. They're gonna, gonna ruin everything. Um, yeah, no, uh, that's great. I'm looking forward to the match between her and Lyra. I think she should, that would be some cool stuff. Um, the relationship between her and Electra Lopez, build on it or kill the shit. I mean, I mean, she was integral to uh, Lola winning, so I think that's that's fine. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't see her. Uh, what, what yeah, because uh... she she caused because um because Kalani was gonna go for the split leg at Moonsault and then um, uh, Electra fucking it, like shoved her leg or some shit. Distract, yeah, grabbed her leg. That's right, grabbed her oh, leg. And oh, then, okay. And then that's Sorry. how um Lola got I don't the, the that kick off. Yeah. Um. Well, let's establish it a little bit more. Or get the fuck off the pot because I don't really think, uh, you know. I mean, I think it's pretty fun. established that they're a team and they're, they're they're one unit. What what are you looking for from that? A promo between the two. We've maybe seen a promos with these two. Pro- before, probably though. probably a backstage segment where they interact with one another. We've seen uh, those already. They've been together for like six months. We we don't get it. I feel like <clears throat> the only thing I remember was Lola Vice going up to her and being like, us Latinas need to have each other's back. And that was it. No, they've done other stuff since then. That was a long time uh, ago. Chat, chat back home uh, <laughs> when y'all listen to this. Let me know what the fuck I missed because this, I truly this, don't feel like this shit is established at all. Is this true, chat? <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the Dub team chat? The, dub development chat? <laughs> It's a W or L shit. What's yeah. wrong? With, what's wrong with the generation? We're we're fucking lost, bro. Um, we should main event. Uh, main of main event time. Main event time. Ilya Dragunov versus Carmelo Hayes, and once again, Ilya Dragunov just beat the brakes off this nigga for how long this match went for, bro? Did my time for for About 60. 30. For six, no, 30, 16. Was it th- wasn't 30? Uh, I don't know. Damn, I don't it know felt like 30 to you. I don't know. You must, I, have, been, I, you I, must have been having a blast, boy. No, I mean, I did have a good time. I watched it earlier because I, I didn't watch it live because I was I had to go pick up my kid, but no, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I watched it this morning. So it's, it's only it's only 16 time, minutes. Time is all relative, you know? No, not really. <laughs> um yeah. Dragon off just beating the shit out of Carmelo Hayes. Uh, Carmelo Hayes got some pretty decent offense this uh compared to the second match they had. I still like the second match more. Um, I I like the the counter to the coast to coast. Uh, that was that's always really good. Um, the, the counter into D- the counter into the counter. That was the DDT on the apron was nasty, nasty. Yeah, so. Dragon off fucking his neck went boing. <laughs> Landed and then landed flat on his back on the outside. That shit was hilarious. Uh the H bomb onto the announce table was crazy. 
Yeah, he bugging for that. First, Carmelo bugging for taking that. Yeah. Um, oh, at, insane. This was in picture in picture that happened. That was really nasty. Carmelo Hayes was already on the floor, and he, you know, uh, he had his head up a little. You know, like uh, he didn't have like his head on the floor, so you know it was kind of like up in the air a little bit. Yeah. And then Dragunov just came and just fucking shit his ass. His hand went bam against that fucking ring, bro. I said shit. I didn't see that. I must have missed it. Uh, it was a picture in picture. I I just glanced okay. over. Um, I was just saying, and I just saw that. I was like, fuck. That was a hurt like a motherfucker, yeah. Um, but yeah, the H bomb was crazy. Um, what is it? I think. Carmel, I, I think Carmel Hayes also did like a cold breaker, and, and then, then fucking, and then that, that was the best he, part. He, I came back. He, he, ba- he bounced off the ropes off. and then the H bomb again. I said, "This nigga is crazy." I put my like, "Let's go!" I, I got that hype when that happened. That was really cool. That was a fun spot too. Smoked um, the fuck out that nigga with that shit. Yeah, that show was fantastic. And they uh, did the torpedo Moscow. Oh, um, you gotta be before well, you get sorry, there. We yeah, gotta, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Trick Williams well, music. Trick Williams music plays when, when right when Carmelo is gonna get might may have gotten the win. Trick Williams music plays. Crowd, he comes out. He got the death stare on Carmelo. Mm-hmm. Put them right in his eye, and then um that gave Dragon Author advantage to hit him with the uh what's that move called? The Red Death. Is that what it's no, called? Tor- torpedo. No, Moscow. Red Torpedo Moscow. Okay, I don't know. That's I don't, crazy. Red clear, Death. Clear, isn't that fucking Claudio? <laughs> I don't even know. Hey, hey, I, I, and y'all say it, I don't bro. be and y'all say I, I don't be watching the show. I don't man. know name I don't know the moves names and moves, but so <laughs> like another technical name, I don't know what people be calling their moves. This nigga, but this nigga is not locked in. Trick comes out <laughs> trick comes out, dragging off picks up the win. Um and it, just a fantastic match. It, I will say yeah. the second match was much better. I'm not much better, but it was better. I gave this match a four and a half, though. I think the the whole trilogy of matches were just fantastic. Yeah, they all play uh, off each other and bounce off each other. Um, Dragon off, don't miss. Yeah, um, I mean I've said it already enough times. That's my wrestler of the year already. It, no matter what happens in the next two months, I've already, <laughs> I've already decided. Yeah, he's it, wrestler it, of the year to me. It, at least. His resume is up there. You know, friend of the show. So um, his friend of the show. That's true. <laughs> Carmelo Hayes is also friend of the show, but also friend of the show. But I see what you do to your friends, so. Yeah, I don't know. do we even want to be a friend? Clearly, tri- <laughs> Trick had something to say, but unfortunately, <laughs> it cut off the no, dragon uh, out getting beat up by Baron Corbin. Yeah, why? Yeah, I guess they wanted to end on a cliffhanger, but I mean, but, they already fun. had they already had the cliffhanger, yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. The, the double cliffhanger, crazy, because people do not give a shit about Baron Corbin. Yeah, double cliffhanger. It seemed unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. That's so <laughs> stupid. Like so the Cor the Corbin shit absolutely could have waited. That shit could have been a WWE digital exclusive. Did that, that, did that, that, been a, a that shit could have that shit could have been the Twitter exclusive before the show started. Literally anything but then. No reason for that to be to take away from Trip Williams coming back. So yeah, stupid. A, chat, that was an L. I gotta be honest with you. That was, that <laughs> L, was, that was, that was L, L booking. L booking. <laughs> L, L cliffhanger. <laughs> um no Rick. Shit is trash. Um I I don't know. Twitch emotes, whatever. Um but nah, shit, shit, shit was uh that was that was so silly. Didn't didn't need to do that. Um but that is it for NXT. Unless I missed anything, did I miss anything? Um, I think we I'm trying. To, I'm trying that, to think right? about. I'm trying to think about stuff that weren't matches. Yeah, I don't have that on hand. <laughs> the uh, match we missed, I have. It, but I don't. Think, I'm trying to think. No, nah, it, it was pretty straightforward. I think. I don't. Um the the only thing that I remember right now and is because it sent chat. Uh, I said a joke and it sent chat through a swirl. Um, during the Von Wagner. Chat. During the Von Wagner, um, Rob Rob Stone shit backstage, Bo was talking to Dante Chen backstage. You know, uh, <laughs> that that level of continuity, baby. <laughs> um, and for me, their tag name is Bo Changles. Bo Changles. All right. 
Love I it. said it. I thought it was extremely Bo corny, but it was a fucking Bo hit. Chango. So we're going. We're going with Bo Changles. <laughs> you pop the, You pop this quarter with that one. Yeah, I I, I pop the boys in the back. <laughs> Pop oh. Discord is crazy. Oh, we, we forgot about metaphor. Metaphor on their chase to get their cup back in oh, the spooky yeah. haunted house. Hey um, man, who we? Velma, Velma and Daphne. That shit gonna have me a chokehold until I die. You feel me? Um, oh. I'm trying to see anything else. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're good. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna end the show there. Subscribe to us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash the A Show RNC. You can follow the network on Twitter at or X, whatever the fuck you want to call it, at the A Show RNC. You can follow Quad at the Comeback Spot. You can follow me, Cyrus, at Cyrus on TWR. Everything is in the show notes. You can follow us on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to the Patreon. You can also join the Discord if you subscribe at a certain tier. Shirts um, coming soon. Shirts coming soon. The sit, the sit, the 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 shirts coming soon. It's extra hot, spicy. I can't wait to rock mine. That shit gonna be hard as fuck. Um, we need to get some more report shirts going on. I need to, I need to reach out to some designers. Mm. Um, we we gonna see what happens. Whatever we do, I want it to really not be military like themed. <laughs> um, well, I'll try. I, I don't know. If I yeah, that's design, fine by me. I, I don't want a, a military theme. Do y'all yeah. think this is? I'm not here for yeah. the military. I I, I don't I don't, want, I don't want people I don't want people taking the war report shirts and flipping it like the Punisher <laughs> logo. You feel me? <laughs> um, I mean, so I'm here for peace, ceasefire right now. I ain't playing with y'all. Oh man, I, mean. I gotta tell you some don't crazy mean, shit about that one. Oh um, no. But yeah, man. Peace out, everybody. Um, see you guys next week.